Blue Blood Sports TV. I'm here with Sean Porter, Showtime Show and Porter. Got a super mega fight coming up September 8th against Danny Garcia. Now, me and you were talking off the record, and we talked about the golden era that everybody uh, always turns to, the Hagler, Hearns, Leonard, Duran era. But this era is a golden era in itself. Do you think that people are missing it? You know, because we're so used to... Uh, uh, saying that legends can't be passed and things of that sort, you know, we, we put legends on such a high pedestal that when sometimes we're in the moment with with a legendary era, yeah. then we look past it. Do you yeah. feel like we looking past it? Because we got yourself, we got Danny, we got Keith, we got Errol, we got Terrence. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is a golden era for this era. Everybody's young. Everybody has a lot of talent. Everybody is uh, seasoned. This is this is really is like to, to, for me, like I said to you before, man. It's an unbelievable time for myself to see people who choose to interact with me and want to shake my hand and so on and so forth. And a lot of them really do look at me like I am the you know for the sake of words. I'm not saying I am, but the, the Ray Leonard, the, the Marvin Hagler of this time, you know. And, and I'm, like I said, man, I just think it's crazy. Like I'm. I put those guys on such a high cut, so it's really hard for me to fathom that, you know, I'm in that position. And, you know, imagine if, if it's hard, hard for me to fathom, then it must be for a lot of other people. You know? So, yeah, I think we do put people, um, our legends on a high pedestal. They, they belong there. But I do think that at some point, if you, if you slow everything down and you do take a, look, take a look at the big picture of everything, you see a humongous picture with a lot of legends. I mean, you see just below those legends, uh, painted in some fresh paint, you have us right there, you know? And so I think a, a lot of people out there, if they took a, take a look at what I just said, take a look at that, that painting of, you know, Ali at the very top. I mean, you go down the list and you go down the list I and mean, you go to the, you know, the golden area that you were just speaking on right there. The paint of, of Ali is still very visible, mm. but it's old, it's right. ancient, and we love it. We see it clear as day right there, but then you see the, the, the golden era that you just spoke on, you know, Marvin Hagler, Duran, Leonard, Herms, all those guys, painted right there. It's clear. A little, little faded, but it's clear. And then you got this this clear, fresh paint right here. And it's just, it, it's, we're painted on, and then we're just waiting to be painted all the way up in, in there with them guys, you right. know. So it really is, man. It's humbling to, to be a part of it. It's, it really is, man. It's hard for me to really even accept, you know. A lot of times I'm like, man. You know, I get a lot of people, Mr. Porter, I'm like, I'm calling you Mr. Porter. You know, I get a lot of people like, man, I can't believe I'm meeting you. I'm like, stop, man. I'm just, you know, it's hard for me. I can't, you know what I mean? But, right. you know, it's up to y'all. It's up to it's up to the media. It's up to the fans to really, you know, acknowledge what's going on right now and realize that, you know, it's a special thing uh, going on in boxing. The best part about it is it's not going to stop. I know right. some young guys that's coming up, just like Errol was, was coming up. Some young guys come up behind him and, and a lot of the other young guys, and um, I think the, the freshest guy right now is Joey Spencer. Joey Spencer, 